You are most welcome to this telecast. Once again, I'm Pastor Peter Viatika, overseer of Blessed Family Churches. We bless you and we bless the name of the Lord for this opportunity. Today, I am reaching you wherever you are, in all continents of the world, with a living word. Our word today is in the book of John, chapter 9. It says like this, And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did he sin, this man or his wife, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither has this man sinned, nor are his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. These weeks I have been talking about the storm. There are three kinds of storm. There is that storm whereby you are tested. There is that storm whereby you are tested, you are in sin. And then there is a storm which comes when God wants to glorify himself. In this text, we see the blind man. The blind man was passing in a storm. He was born blind. And the disciples asked Jesus, and who sinned? Is this storm? for a person who sinned, but Jesus replied that, no, this man did not sin, neither is the parents, but this was done so that God's glory might be manifest. Today, I am reaching unto you, wherever you are. Maybe you are passing through that storm of losing a job. Maybe you have lost a loved one. Maybe you are sick, you are on your sick bed. Maybe you are facing challenges. Maybe you don't have money, you don't have food, don't food. But God is talking to you and assuring you and encouraging you that storm is not because you, you sin, but His glory wants to be manifest to you. And from today onwards, I'm declaring that let the glory of God be manifest upon you. In that storm, you not die, you don't fear, do not be discouraged because God is with you. Whenever we are in storms, our God is with us because he promised that he will never forsake us. I tell you, friend, if you're a believer, our God cannot forsake you because he knows you, he created you, you are his person, you are his child. And if you have not believed him as your personal savior, maybe you are passing through that storm of sin, it is better you take him as your personal savior. So repeat after me. Say, Jesus, come into my life. Save me and redeem me, redeem me from every kind of storm. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen.